When I'm up north, I rely on an air card for my internet access. A little flashing blue light on it. And I have to keep it near a window because uh, my place has got metal walls and a metal roof. So the air card barely picks up even at a window. I'm in the middle of the woods, so I've got real scant reception. So to make this more bearable, I've been using a uh, pluggables extension cord cable, USB extension cable. It's only USB 2. It's amplified. It's a 24-foot cable, if I remember right. And I did a review on that elsewhere um, earlier on. Kitty watching the birdies. The problem is, is that it was working okay until I got my new computer. I got a new uh, netbook. Well, actually, instead of my netbook, I got a notebook. And um, Asus notebook. It's a nice little unit, but it's got a real small power pack, and its USBs got really poor power. I try to use an extension cable directly into this unit. Um, the modem gets real intermittent. It just doesn't have enough power apparently to uh, power the powered cable and the modem together. At least I'm guessing that's the issue. It just didn't want to work. Um, also, I end up. It only has two USB outlets on it. Um, right now, I got. Um, this is actually. Uh, HS HDMI to my TV and here's my USB 2. It's only got one USB 2 and one USB 3 and USB 3 is supposed to be you know backwards compatible to 2 but you get a warning with some devices like the air card. If I plug the air card into the 3 port it uh, says you're better off using it in the 2 port. Anyway um, so I don't have enough USB ports basically so I use little plug-in hubs, four port extensions. This one worked pretty well. I don't know if I bought it through, I believe I bought it through Amazon. I've got another one I bought through, uh, bought at Big Lots locally. And it worked for a while, well enough I guess. This one's kind of nice because it has an external power jack, which I was use making use of. But this unit eventually broke on me. I've got one port here I modified so that it only gets power and uh, no signal for charging things I don't want the computer to have to mess with on the computer. I only want power to them. Um, you know, to stop being recognized from the computer when I plug in something I just want to charge. Anyway, this one kind of died on me. And this other one does work. It's a little flaky. It's nice and small. So, looking for a better solution to this problem, I bought the pluggables unit here. And, um, this is another USB 2 device. Somehow, I screwed up and ordered two of them. And, uh, I was going to send one back, but it turns out you know, I've got use for two of them. In fact, I may have use for three of them. I could almost use one of these at my computer downstate. You know, my uh, desktop computer doesn't have enough USBs either sometimes. It'd be handy to have one of these around for that even. Though I'll probably just take this old one I'm not using anymore for that for pump function. But these have uh, been really nice. The nice thing about them, of course, is they've got power. They've got a power jack and a power pack that comes with them. So, where I couldn't use my extension cable, my pluggables extension cable, on my new uh, notebook computer, I can via putting one of these in between. Because this supplies the power instead of the computer supplying the power. That seems to be enough to stabilize things and uh, make it work. So, offhand, I'm really happy with these pluggables, even though they're new to me.
And by the way, these aren't hooked to the same computer. These One's hooked to my netbook, one's hooked to my notebook. Um, so far, so good. There's a lot of USB crap out there. You really got to be careful what you buy sometimes. Um, this card reader is junk, as is this card reader. You know, both of these are big no-nos to buy. Um, this one is not even usable. This one did kind of work a little bit, but it kind of craps out on you. This green one is old as the hills. I've had this for years, and uh, it's been a champ. I just don't like the way it's shaped because it kind of hogs ports. You know, it's too wide on a computer, especially where the ports are real close together. It's a real problem. But it's been reliable. You know, it's been the 100% reliable unit. Anyway, back to the hubs. So far, so good. It looks like I'm keeping the one I bought by accident.